Hi, I got a question for you. What's your win this week? What have you done for yourself this week? What have you accomplished this, well, these past two weeks that have been something that have made you proud of yourself? What have you done for you? Have you been able to uh, keep up with your walking? Have you been able to stay journaling? Have you been able to carve in some time to a day or two or 10 for you to be able to get in some self-care? Um, have you been kind to yourself? Have you found a new rock? I love rocks. I know it sounds weird, right? But I do, I love rocks. I, I, um, I like to paint rocks. I like to just fidget with rocks. I just said like rocks, but I don't know, I'm weird. But I would love to hear about what your wins for these past two weeks have been and what your goal is for this coming up week. Please let me know in the comments below whatever those goals or those wins or both have been for you these past two weeks and what they will be for next week. And I just, I, I really look forward to experiencing those things with you. These past two weeks have been incredibly difficult. And I mean incredibly difficult. I, we just found out about another loss this morning which we knew was going to happen relatively soon um, because of the way things were going health-wise with this person. And, and it's, it's really sad and really, you know, heartbreaking to hear. Um, I just, I can't imagine what it would feel like to, to be dealing with this right now. Like... you know, my heart goes out to them and, and it's been difficult. It's been difficult to, to deal with, um, just on my side from being sort of a support system and not, not to say that what I've been dealing with is, is even remotely close to what they've been dealing with, but just hearing their emotions and, and hearing the, the, the pain in them just, it hurts. It hurts. So I can't even imagine what they're like really going through even though they're telling me a lot of the things that they're going through just to like really be the one experiencing it i just i don't envy them and that's that's for sure i've been on my period one of the worst periods that i've ever had i mean i'm 41 years old i started my period the day after my ninth birthday and i really truly cannot think of another time where it was worse than this time the back pain, the stomach pain, the headaches, the everything, the cramping, the just the flow itself. Like I've never experienced one like this one. So I'm like, uh, is menopause coming? I mean, I've had it for 30 plus years, so I don't see how that would be unheard of. There have been many times in the past where I weighed in every single day, multiple times a day. and. I understand that there are a lot of you that are gonna do that. But for me, I no longer want to weigh in during my period. Just because the physical aspects of being on your period, the bloating, the hormone fluctuations, just everything, I'm already a hot mess. I don't need to add, you know, disappointment to it too. Um, but I did weigh in this week not too bad in two weeks yeah two weeks i lost four pounds that's not bad um it's not where i want to be but that's okay you know so that means we get to take four new pennies and add them here Did anybody notice that these are sort of just sitting at the end of the rainbows, like um, a pot of gold? <laughs> I didn't realize that until today. Just, I think it looks so cute, like a little pot of gold. Been dealing with a lot of stress. I threw my back out. Like you name it, it's happened. The heat is incredible here right now. It It's too early to be this hot here in Texas. I don't know what's going on, but it has been, triple digits many 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 days and it we've been having hailstorms every single night we've been having thunder lightning storms 
we, it's just been really crazy here and it's been so humid oh my gosh the humidity where i come from the humidity hits 100 percent regularly like that doesn't bother me but it also doesn't get hot it's like 70 degrees is the hottest so when it starts hitting 72 73 74 people are complaining that they're melting and dying because they can't handle the 100 percent humidity plus heat here it's been you know yesterday was 108 degrees and i think it was 86 percent humidity oh i came home i did not feel well i was nauseous i was just ugh, it was a hot mess i was a hot mess but it's okay we're gonna move forward we're gonna keep going um i have not binged which is amazing i'm so proud of myself because that is really hard normally that would probably be the first thing that was triggered back for me but it not this time i've been able to fight it and control it and that's the, that's great i'm i'm proud of myself i'm happy that that is something that i haven't done in about nine months ish time let me tell you there have been days where i just to get out of bed is a struggle to brush my teeth is a struggle to wash my face is a struggle just to be motivated to be awake is an absolute struggle and so i am mentally drained i just am i need to go back into um some coping skills that i have been ignoring like journaling um i really have not even picked up one of my journals um i have one right here which is super cute empty it's empty and it's brand new so i mean i have a title right here but that's it that's it and then you know i have my my other one i need to do that so that i can sort of process everything that's going on right now the weather has been raining almost every day so i haven't been able to go out and really do some you know outdoor time not that i want to be outdoors in this heat but I do really want to to move and I want to get walking um, like I have been able to do and I haven't been able to um, do much of it these past two weeks. So hopefully we'll be able to get that done today. See ya.